Welcome back, everybody. Time for your morning news now. The Jackson County man committed after killing his father is being released. In 2017, a judge committed Lars Helgeson for life after he admitted to fatally shooting his father, burning his body, and burying it under an ATV track on his family's property. Helgeson has been receiving treatment for mental illness at Mendota Mental Health Institute, and the 29-year-old petitioned the court for release. A doctor who examined Helgeson told the judge he is not a danger to himself or others. Helgeson's brother and other family members have objected. They say Helgeson only started to take his meds a year ago, and he has admitted to skipping doses. The brother Bjorn Helgeson said they are letting him go, I'm quoting now, they are letting him go after he did such a violent act against his best friend, his father. He didn't just murder his father, he murdered another human being. I don't ever want that to happen to anyone else. No one else should have to go through that, end quote. Now the judge granted Helgeson conditional release and over the next 60 days, the court will determine Helgeson's outpatient treatment plan and where he will live. More on your morning news now. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation is asking you to stay home if possible. If you must travel today, the DOT is warning drivers some roads may be closed. Now the DOT is working alongside local law enforcement to point out some travel not advised signs in specific areas. Drivers can check for what roads will be closed by using the 511 Wisconsin app or the website 511wi.gov. The DOT will update road conditions on those two tools with the help of more than 500 live cameras and local law enforcement. If a traveler is going from, let's say, Madison to Wausau, you're able to view the winter road conditions in 501. You're also able to look at cameras along the route to, to see what the conditions are at that time. It really is a helpful tool. Hoyt says strong winds and blowing snow could also be dangerous for semi-trucks and large vehicles. So give yourself enough room and time to stop out there. Here's some other travel musts on a day like today. Move your car out of your garage to warm it up and make sure your tailpipe is not blocked. If your child is in a car seat for travel, take off their bulky coat. That'll make their seat belt more snug and tight. And then cover them with a blanket. And finally, make sure loose objects are gonna be in the trunk of your car. So in the event of a crash, that they don't end up becoming a hazard to you and your loved ones. The city of La Crosse's snow emergency is now in effect, and with it come the alternate side parking rules. The snow emergency stays in effect for 48 hours, so it ends on Friday, December 23rd at 6 p.m. However, the city says if needed, the snow emergency may be extended. The city's emergency declaration also triggers the opening of warming shelters. Starting Wednesday night, members of the city's unsheltered population were staying at the Southside Community Center. Once that building reaches capacity, the city will open Northside Policing Center. The warming shelters will be open until Monday morning. For some Holman High Schoolers, the giving season lasts all semester. As part of the Character Strong class, students organize a Winter Wishes program. Students and staff anonymously make wishes for either themselves or others, and anyone, including community members, are welcome to help fulfill those wishes. I think that's an important thing that not most high schools get to learn about and students get to learn about, and that's an important life trait that you need to take on in life no matter what your career path is or where you want to go after high school. Absolutely, good mindset there. Although students and staff receive their wishes already, you can always help out next year. All right, and as you head out the door this morning, keep in mind there's still some snowy weather out there in some spots around the Cooley region. Looking at some chances of snow that could linger into the early afternoon. Otherwise, just very cloudy with those temperatures well below zero. Keep in mind we have winter weather alerts for a good chunk of the nation, including us here in the Cooley region. Blizzard warnings and winter storm warnings in effect. An additional one to three inches of snow here. Expecting both the blizzard warning and winter storm warning. Blizzard warning off to our western zones, which includes southeast, uh, our southeast uh, Minnesota county counties as well as our northeast Iowa counties until uh, early Saturday morning for the possibility of some gusty winds and that could cause some travel impacts as well. Gusts up to 40, 50 miles an hour possible in that blizzard morning too, Ken. And after that, it uh, looks like we return to normal by Christmas Day, but still very cold here. Just have to get through these next three alert days that are in effect. I don't see a lot of alert days in a row like that. Yeah, exactly. That's where we're at. Thank you, Derek. Well, don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on news8000.com. We'll have the latest updates to today's top stories on News 8 Now at noon. A big thanks to Eric Dean and our photographer Alex for 
braving the snow out there, driving on the highways, the side roads to give us an in-depth look on what those graphics are kind of showing yeah. in real time. So that's Derek Sibley. I'm Ken Kozgrowski saying thank you so much for watching on this Thursday morning. Stay indoors if you can. If you have to go out, please be safe out there. Give yourself extra time, extra room between vehicles on any roadways that you might be traveling. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you right back here tomorrow morning.